Hello boys and girls, it's great to see you again on the Explorers Online. We are going to say hello to everybody all together in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello everybody! I hope you heard all your friends saying hello. We miss you so much and we can't wait to see you soon. But let's start off today's lesson with some praise and worship. Loves me so, loves me so, loves me so. Jesus loves me so, loves me so, loves me so. Jesus loves me so. Today, kids, we are going to learn about a man named Cornelius, and he is a Roman officer, and he is going to tell us some really great things. Why don't we go back in time and see what Cornelius has for us today? So let me move this. We're going to go to July the 18th. We want to go to Egypt, and it's the year all the way back. Okay, let's switch on and we want full power. So one day, Cornelius was praying. So here's Cornelius and he was on his knees praying to God. And then suddenly, an angel came down from heaven and spoke to Cornelius. The angel told Cornelius to go and find a man named Peter. Find Peter. So that's exactly what he did. Cornelius was a Roman soldier. Now, if you don't know, a Roman soldier is in charge of many people and he carries a sword and he is able to tell armies of people to do things. So he got a group of his servants. So here Cornelius is and he's going to be speaking. He is speaking to a group of his servants. Here are all his servants. I think he had quite a few servants. Some of them were tall, some of them were short. All kinds of servants he had. 
and told them to go on a road and go and find a man named Peter. Find Peter. So does anyone remember who Peter was? Yes, he was one of Jesus' disciple. This is the same Peter. Elsewhere, Peter was on his knees praying to Jesus. While he was praying, the Holy Spirit told Peter, the Holy Spirit told Peter that someone is looking for him. Someone is looking for you. Then, just then, Peter heard some guys down the stairs. There were some guys down the stairs and they were saying, we are looking for a man named Peter. Can you guess who these guys were? That's right. He is Cornelius' servants. So down the stairs, Peter came and he met with the servants and said, I am who you're looking for. It's me. So all the men took Peter all the way on a path back to Cornelius. Now, do you remember what Cornelius was? That's right, he was a Roman soldier. And him and his family, let's draw his family, maybe he had a wife and some children, sat and listened to Peter while he told them about the good news. Do you know what the good news is? The good news is that Jesus came and died for them. But do you remember Cornelius is a Roman soldier and Peter is a Jew and Cornelius being Roman and a Jew, they don't like each other. They are not friends, but because of Jesus, they love each other. And the Holy Spirit tells us that because we have the Holy Spirit living in us, Peter, the Jewish person, and Cornelius the Roman can be friends because God loves everyone and gives the Holy Spirit to anyone who believes in Jesus. So Cornelius' whole family loves Jesus and then loves the Jews. And the Jews love the Romans because of the Holy Spirit who tells them to love each other. Kids, wasn't it so cool to learn about Cornelius and how his whole family gave their lives to Christ. And because of the Holy Spirit, the Jews and the Romans were able to love one another. We're able to love everybody too because of the Holy Spirit that lives with inside of us. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that we get to love every single person. That because of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, we are able to go out and share your good news, but also to share your good news with people who perhaps are different to us or don't know you, Father. We pray that you would help us to love everyone. We pray this in your name. Amen. Now it's time for us to learn our memory verse. We are learning Romans 8 verse 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. 
That's right, kids. You are children of God because you're led by His Holy Spirit. So today we learned about how the Holy Spirit helps us to love everyone. And do you know, kids, who perhaps help who? No, sorry. And do you know, kids, who loved us first? That's right, Jesus and God. They loved us first. And how did we know that? God loves us so much that he gave his one and only son on the cross to die for us. And that was Jesus. He made sure that all our bad things that we do go away because of Jesus dying on the cross. And that we are made clean if we invite him and ask him into our hearts. So if that's you today, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, let's pray together and ask him to come live inside of you, to take all your dirty and ugly away so that you are seen right in God's eyes. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you for taking the sin that's in our lives away, for taking all the bad things that we do away because you, Jesus, died on the cross for us. Forgive us for our sins, Jesus, that we may come to you with clean hearts. Father, we thank you that Jesus died on the cross for us. And we pray that you would come and live in our hearts, that we may be close to you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Great kids, it's been so fun being with you today. And we can't wait to see you, Nick, for the next part of our series, Legacy. See you next week. Bye.